Ancient Ethiopian monuments 1,000 years more older than expected. A recent research in the Journal of African Archaeology claims that 20-foot-high stone monoliths in southern Ethiopia are 1,000 years older than assumed. To estimate the age of the typically phallic-shaped monoliths, Stele, found at the Sakaro Sodo archaeological site in Ethiopia's Gedeo zone, a Washington State University team utilized sophisticated radiocarbon dating. In the 1990s, French scientists made the only other effort to date the over 10,000 stele monoliths scattered around the Gedeo zone. The Tuto Fela monuments in northern Gedeo were given a construction date of circa 1100 AD. Sakaro Sodo and other archaeological sites in the Gedeo zone contain the greatest concentration of megalithic stele monuments in Africa, and are being considered for UNESCO World Heritage status. The size, purpose, and placement of the standing stones vary greatly. Intricate carved faces and other human figures may still be seen in the stone of some of the fallen monoliths. Despite the site's beauty, nothing is known about the monolith's origins or construction process. A trip to the area with his PhD advisor, WSU anthropology professor Andrew Duff, inspired Zena, an Ethiopian native, to examine the stones. Apart from determining where the ancient architects of the site likely sourced raw stone for the project, the researchers discovered the location of a millennium-old monolith. Researchers found obsidian objects from Gedeo Stele locations for the first time. Surprisingly, most of the obsidian found at Sakaro Sodo came from northern Kenya, indicating that the inhabitants at Sakaro Sodo received their obsidian raw materials via commerce. The earliest stele sites in Ethiopia, Sakaro Sodo and other surrounding localities, were likely erected for two purposes, to memorialize the transition of authority from one generation to the next, or to record and honor communal accomplishment. However, despite the current political climate and the recent COVID-19 outbreak in Ethiopia, the researchers have numerous more experiments in the pipeline that they expect to complete shortly. With partners from Addis Ababa University in Ethiopia, one initiative includes extensive archaeological research at other stele locations. Others are working with the Ethiopian Department of Archaeology and Heritage Management to better manage stele sites to protect cultural heritage and create tourism.